Hi, so what I've got here is some graphene and this is made with the blender and soap incidentally and um, it's about two months old or so so you can see it's a fairly stable dispersion you can see the little bubbles of soap on the top of it so we're going to use that and this is based on um, some of the stuff that I've been doing with this and that is the magnetic effect drying graphene sheets has if you dry a graphene sheet in a magnetic field what will it do? so here's a piece of plastic that I put two copper strips on dropped a drop of this graphene, spread it around and let it dry overnight. It's been drying about 16 hours or something like that. So what we've got there is a sheet very similar to this one that we showed earlier, but instead of being made with the graphene ink, it's just made with a graphene solution. Now, a friend of mine pointed this out to me, and he said uh, particularly to notice that if you left it so that it was dry, um, using the ink, this effect stopped, so I thought, okay, let's give it a go and see what happens when we don't use the ink, when we use graphene. So all I've done is connect up a battery to uh, either side of the strip, positive and minus, so effectively you're putting a DC bias across there. And then I've connected up to the meter, and the meter is currently reading in mega ohms. Now, if I connect up this sheet in one way, then have a look what happens. There you go, absolutely nothing. It's still reading more than 20 mega ohms. So let's just swap those connections over. Now then, it's now actually dropped its resistance. It's now uh, at about 8.1 dropping mega ohms. So that'll drop slightly. And although we're talking about mega ohms here, then what we've got, I think, is a diode behavior. That is, it has a huge resistance going in one direction, so much I can't actually measure it. And then there's a, quite a drop in resistance going the other direction, as long as there's a DC bias on it. This is 6 volts, incidentally. And you can see that we've got 7.96 mega ohms. Now, the direction of the graphene was like that, so the lines are running between. The next thing to do, really, is to turn it that way, and so the lines run parallel and see what ha happens. Now the reason I want to do that is because the first thing I did was test this sheet. And this sheet is where we've got the ink, but the inks are in parallel. So if we connect that up to our battery, there we go, we got connect connected up and you can see greater than 20 mega ohms. So let's swap those connections over. And that drops down to about 4 mega ohms. So again, we've got diode behaviour there, uh, as long as there's a DC bias across that, and the behaviour is better if it's parallel to the conductive strips than if it's going with the conductive strips, which is kind of cool. So I guess the next thing to do is a graphene sheet with it parallel. But I thought that was so cool, I thought I'd report it to you. Anyway, um, it looks like we're not far off a printable diode. I hope that was of interest and thank you for watching.